Hi HOCC kids, welcome back to our video Bible lesson. Today we're going to be learning about how God can do anything. He is so powerful, he's more powerful than this big wall right here. Nothing is impossible with God. Luke 1 37. Let's sing a song and then learn the Bible story. Even when it seems like there's no way, God can make a way. This story comes from the Old Testament in a book called Joshua. The reading is from the Rhine Bible, The Walls Fall Down. The Israelites came to the promised land. A man named Joshua was in command. The first thing they saw in the valley below was a pretty little town called Jericho. God told Joshua, there's something you should know. It's all about the city called Jericho. The people there are wicked, so I'm giving you their town, but you won't get in till the walls come down. God told Joshua exactly what to do. He told him to tell all the people too. So early in the morning at the break of day, the people and Joshua started on their way. First came some soldiers leading the way. Then came the priest with trumpets to play. Next came the Ark of God with priests all around. And last came the rear guard, but no one made a sound. All around the city, the priest and soldiers walked, but everyone was quiet. No one even talked. The trumpets gave a blast the seventh time around. Then the people all shouted and the walls fell down. Be strong and courageous and do not be afraid. The Lord goes with you each and every day. Joshua 1, 9. Be strong and courageous and do not be afraid. The Lord goes with you each and every day. He'll never forsake you. Be strong and courageous and do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. He'll never forsake you. Be strong and courageous and do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. Be strong and courageous and do not be afraid. The Lord goes with you each and every day. He'll never be forsake you. Be strong and courageous and do not be afraid. Don't be the afraid. He'll never forsake you. Be strong and courageous and do not be afraid. Don't be afraid. Be 
afraid. Let's hear the story again. This time, watch the part about a woman named Rahab. See how she helped God's people. She's a hero. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joshua. This is Joshua. Oh, hey. Joshua was the leader of the Israelites, who God used to bring his people to the Promised Land. Yeah, let's do it. When God told Joshua it was time to take the Promised Land, Joshua sent spies into the city of Jericho. While those spies were in Jericho, Come on. they were protected by a woman named Rahab. <laughs> The spies promised to spare Rahab and her family when they took back the land. Yay! And she hung a scarlet cord from her window to remind them of their promise. See you soon! Now the Israelites had crossed the Jordan and were camped near the town of Jericho. Hey! Hello! One day, Joshua looked up. Uh huh? and there was a man standing before him. Hello. The man said, I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Joshua asked what the man wanted to tell him, and the Lord said he wanted Joshua to take the city of Jericho, All right. but that Joshua needed to follow his instructions exactly. You got it. Jericho was shut for fear of the Israelites. Yeah, went home? No one came out and no one came in. So the Lord told Joshua to gather his soldiers. And march around the city for six days. The priests were to take the Ark of the Covenant and seven priests were to go in front of it, blowing a ram's horn. On the seventh day, they were to march around the city seven times and blow the horn. Then all the people of Israel were to give a great shout. Then what? And then the city walls would fall. Wow! Yeah, let's do it! So Joshua said, Shout for the Lord has given you the city. And the people did shout. Yeah! and the walls did fall. Go! The Israelites overtook the city of Jericho as God had commanded. Rahab! They remembered Rahab because of her faithfulness. Joshua was faithful in carrying out God's commands, and the Israelites took many other cities as God told them they would. Oh, nice. For God will never fail to fulfill his promises. So the Israelites came to live in the land that God had promised Abraham, Isaac, Israel, Joseph, and Moses many years ago. God, please help me be courageous to believe that you would be there for me the way you were there for Joshua and the Israelites. Nothing is impossible for you in Jesus' name. Amen. God, please help me have courage to trust your promises like Rahab trusted the spies. Promise to return for her. Nothing is impossible for you, God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Love you, Adams. Bye. See you next time. See you next time.